I recently did a stream where I broke down the expectations and definitions of a junior, mid, and senior level engineer at big tech fang companies. Now as a recap, I posted this photo on my Twitter and I gained a lot of attention, but the number one question I got was, what's a J-hole? I decided to make a quick YouTube video explaining what a J-hole is and why it's one of the biggest and common mistakes I see junior engineers make when they start their career. I think the best way we can describe this is with a scenario. Say you just got hired at a new tech company. You were grinding, you did leak code, you studied, learned about behaviorals, learned everything there is about the company, their culture, and you got the job. You're amped up. You get that sweet, sweet tech compensation that you read about at levels.fyi. So after a few weeks of onboarding, you're finally given your first task by your tech lead. They say, so the first thing I want you to do is modify an existing dropdown that we have in our websites. It shouldn't take you too long, maybe about two days, but if you get stuck or have any questions, feel free to reach out. And you think to yourself, modify dropdown? Easy, I can do this no problem. So you go at it, start coding away, following the instructions on the ticket, but then all of a sudden, you get hit with the mother of all errors. And I'm talking one that you've never seen before, never encountered in your life. You try looking at Stack Overflow, Google, nothing seems to come up for this particular bug that you see for this internal company tool that you're working on. A few minutes searching, scrolling becomes an hour, and now you're two hours of debugging and still no progress on this bug, and you've tried everything that you can think of. So this is the fork in the road for every J-hole decision. You can continue down the path that you're on, or you can stop, create a message detailing your error and what you've tried to do to solve it, and ask your tech lead for some help because more likely than not, they've seen the error before and they can help you. They can probably recognize it right away. Or the option that everyone seems to take is tough it out, prove that you're smarter and that you don't need no help because you're a strong, independent junior developer. So what do you do? You stay on it. You click every button on your keyboard, you read every document, every Slack history, everything that you can do in your power. You stay up full nights at a time to resolve this bug. And you know what? You did it. You did resolve that bug. But now it's been two days later. So two days later, a million console.logs and print statements all over the code base, and you are actually not even close to implementing the feature that was originally going to take you two days to do. A ticket that should have taken you two days, plus or minus a day and a half, if you had asked for help once you got stuck, has now taken you four or five days because you J-hold yourself and refuse to ask help or refuse to recognize that you were not spending your time efficiently. Now, I'm not saying every time you get a bug, go message your tech lead or whoever. No, that is an obvious red flag, but asking a question does not make you dumb. Asking questions, asking help is actually expected for all junior engineers. It's a simple rule of thumb. If you ask a question once, that's not a problem. If you ask the same question over and over again, then it becomes a pattern where maybe you have to work on something on yourself. It's especially admirable when you send or ask a question to your tech lead describing what you've already done to try and solve it. Then they are more likely and more willing to say that you're actually trying, you're actually putting effort. It's just one of those tricky internal bugs that you can only solve once you've seen it kind of a thing. So if you're stuck on a problem, it's taken you a few hours and you've tried everything you can, don't J-hole. Let me repeat myself. Do not be a J-hole. Ask for help, write the solution down, and be better, be on your way, implement the feature, get the task done, be impact-driven. hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you click comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you have to do to show love for this video. I had a great time making it. If you like this type of content where I give suggestions, advice for new junior engineers, then you would love my stream twitch.tv slash Melky. I work for Twitch, so it's even added bonus. But we talk about all these types of things, give advice, resume reviews, interview tips for all junior engineers. So hopefully I can see you there. But until next time, you got to pow it.